Dear traders, in the previous lecture I showed to you how to use the script from EA Studio to export the data from your broker, which is the best practice. But as I said, the issue is that most of the brokers, they don't provide reliable data and most of the time you will not be able to export more than 60, 65 to 70,000 bars, which sometimes is not enough to have a good backtest for your strategy. And the only way to collect more historical data is just to leave your MetaTrader open and with the time it will just add the new bars that are coming in the future but it's really slow process. You can imagine that if you leave your MetaTrader open for one month on hourly chart what you will have is 31 days times 24 which is 744. So for one month you will be able to add just another 700 bars for H1 chart which is really really small and it takes months even years sometimes to collect the data from your broker and again I say most of them have gaps and missing days which will mess up your backtest and generating process if you use EA Studio. Now this is why we have the solution now, the free historical data app, which is absolutely free. You can find it on our website when you click on software and go to Forex historical data. This is where the app is and below there is a lot of information, some videos and there will be more videos by the time you're watching this course. I'm just recording tomorrow and the day after the videos where I will show exactly step by step how to import the data in EA Studio, in FSB, in MetaTrader or if you just want to use the app for any other reason. So it's a lot of information here and one more time it's the best thing you can have as historical data and in this video right here I show how to fit the data according to your broker. So no matter which broker you're using you can use this data just change the symbol settings and make it work for your broker. So what you have to do here is to select the symbol you want to trade. Let's stick to pound dollar because uh, this is what I took as an example and I will show you the difference in the number of bars from format you need to select what format you want to download the data CSV works for the Forex Strategy Builder JSON works for EA Studio CSV for MetaTrader and another CSV for Excel so these are different formats and since in this course I will be using the EA Studio to demonstrate to you how I create the strategies and the expert advisors, I will click on JSON and I will load it. Now this is the fastest tool you can find online for historical data and you can see the number of bars. 200,000 bars for M1, 200,000 for M5, 200,000 from M15 and here are the rest. All of that below M30 until daily chart starts from 2007. Simply this is over 13 years of historical data, more than enough and they have limited it until 2007. So this is really a huge data, more than enough. A little bit later I will talk about the number of bars I use recently when I generate strategies but this data is more than enough. Now this data comes exactly from the Ducas Copy Broker and they guarantee that there are no missing days from the statistics in EA Studio. I saw that there are no missing days and as well we have statistics here and the app itself and you can see much more about uh, the data and you can see maximum days off is 3 which is quite normal and then if you want to download the data you just click on it okay click on it and it downloads immediately click on the next one downloads immediately click on H1 
it downloads and you see it stays in gray color which means uh, that you have downloaded it already so you know which data you have downloaded but before you download the data you need to do something very very important you need to synchronize the time zone something even professional traders are missing and many ask me why their backtest in EA Studio doesn't match with the backtest in MetaTrader and the reason for that is the time zone. Now my time zone at the moment it is plus 2 GMT, Sofia, Varna, Athens, Bucharest, Istanbul, this is where we are and if I open the MetaTrader I can see the hour in the market watch. However, not all of the brokers will synchronize the time with your local time. The best thing and the easiest thing you can do is to go to hourly chart, zoom it in and see some huge bar. For example, this one is very recognizable. Let's see when exactly is that. This is on the 14th of July 2020 and the hour it is 4 p.m. Now if I go to the price chart on the Forex Historical Data app, I will look for that candle. It is this one over here and you can see just below at this field that the hour shows 3 p.m. So there is one hour difference. What I need to do is I need to go to settings and I will need to add one more hour so I will go plus three doesn't matter which city I choose and again I will download the data from acquisition but first I need to click on load data so it's fetching the data it's really quick this is a huge data coming from ticks and it's converted to bars this is why it works so fast and it's very accurate because it's a tick data coming from the Ducas copy broker. Okay, so now I will go to the price chart and I will put my mouse on that candle and you can see right here, focus right here, you can see that it's 4 p.m. Now I can download the data for the time frames that I will be trading and they go to my downloads folder. I will go back to EA Studio go to data and I will drop these files that I have just downloaded in the Dropbox and they will be loaded. Going back to the generator, I will select Duke's copy and I will have these data for M1, M30 and H1 which is really fresh just from last night. All right, and you can see that it's 100,000 bars you can change the number of bars from data, data horizon and here you can increase it to 200,000. If you want more or less, it's up to you. I will share with you in the next lecture how many bars I used recently and why I have reduced the number of bars, but that I will just share with you in the next lecture. All right, so this is how you can import and get historical data, not just for EA Studio, but for MetaTrader, for Excel, for Forex Strategy Builder. And until the moment, this is the most reliable historical data, the fastest way to download it, not huge files to download thick data and wonder how to use it. It's really easy because this data is converted to bars and it is absolutely free to use that forex historical data app thank you for watching the video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to get more of our free videos cheers